Hello, I am Lemon. I am a bard. I don't know from where. Mainly because I don't know enough about the Dungeons and Dragons world proper to just name drop a city and be like, oh ho, this is where I'm from. Sorry, I don't know the lore well enough, but I can tell you I have spent 17 plus years on the flute alone. My flute is magical, I must say. And uh, I spent another two years on the drums and about every Thursday for three years uh, on, on uh, the lute. All right, time to start my first ever tactician run. Let's go. I'm thinking I'm going to play a bard because I've never played a bard in anything ever. And I just feel like it could be kind of cool to try one. I also downloaded a bunch of character customization mods today. Hopefully they all work and I can make a, a, a nice, cool, unique character. Hopefully. I'm also going to try and do a uh, an evil playthrough because I've never done an evil playthrough in pretty much any game ever because I'm too much of a pussy to actually commit hard commit to being evil. I'm gonna be a drow because the entire idea of this character in my head is that I'm basically like already kind of an asshole, right? But I'm not really like murderous or evil until Minthara's like, hey, uh, you know, you could kill an entire grove of tiefling refugees and druids for some pussy. And I'm like, you know what? That's a good trade. That's a good trade. I like that. That's a good trade. So, you know, that's kind of my idea for this character. I think that's good. My name is going to be Lemon. The reason my name is going to be Lemon is from that one SpongeBob scene. Every villain is Lemons, otherwise known as Evil. Every villain is Lemons, otherwise known as Evil. And then I'm going to close my eyes, randomize this five times, and that's how I'm going to get the Emperor's fake appearance. All right, so here we go. One, two three, four, and five. This is it. Damn, her horns are crazy. Start her up. And I am playing on Tactician for the first time. So hopefully I don't get absolutely fucking folded. Cause I'm not, um, you know, truth be told, I don't think I'm the greatest at this game. But that's why I'm doing Tactician before I do Honor. Cause I just know if I do Honor right now, I'm gonna end up hating myself. My first evil character in any RPG ever. Let's hope this goes well. Okay, so what do bards have? I can perform. Let me just let me just listen. Gas. Also gonna need to figure out a voice for this character. So if I'm playing a bard, I may as well like, and especially an evil character. I feel like the only way an evil character is gonna work for me if, is if I really try and get in character. Otherwise, I'm just gonna feel too bad about it. IRL and I'll end up not being an evil character <laughs> What am I gonna do with us? I did learn recently that you can actually encounter us multiple times in the game and I had no idea that was even a thing Hmm What is this creature here? Some sort of operating table? <laughs> it moved. Disgusting. What are you? We've come to save us from this place. Save you? This I've only come to make some tunes. Oh, it's boot. That's disgusting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up. That's disgusting. Who, what exactly am I talking to? A newborn. What the fuck is that? Um, you know, I don't really want to help you at all. But uh, why, why do you sound afraid, little one? Enemies, huh? What? How could a brain have enemies? Oh, I understand. I believe I've heard the depressed folks say that they are fighting their demons at certain times. I thought they just meant their their evil thoughts about themselves, but <laughs> perhaps you have actual demons after you. Um, you know what? Maybe I will save the brain. Psych, I'm killing you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh God, it's disgusting. Ah. Why am I putting my hands on the- uh, I could've just walked away- Oh! Ugh! Uh, 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 filthy! God! That was disgusting! Well, let me check your pockets for some- And you're broke. Okay. Well, I kinda figured you'd have some pocket change, but it is what it is. I suppose having no money is better than- Well, no, it's not really better than anything. <laughs> you're just broke. I have no idea what weapons I'm proficient with. I just know I can play a flute pretty well. Where the fuck am I? Last thing I remember, I was getting some boons from a big-titted tiefling in an inn somewhere. What 
the fuck? How can you jump like that? In that armor? Uh, abomination, I'm just a bard, girl. Relax. I, uh, my head. Ah, it hurts. Oh, I look pretty. I don't know. I'm a bard, girl. I'm not the smartest. Um, and who exactly are you? Your only chance of survival, she says. That's not the greatest name in the world. I think that's a little too long. But if that's really your name, I'm going to call you Chance, okay? Because chance of survival is just... That's too many syllables. That that wouldn't really fit well in a song. I mean, you could sing about chance, but singing about chance of survival is just... Ugh. It's unta- it's unsavory, you know? It doesn't roll off the tongue the nicest. I don't really care to figure out where I am. This place is terrifying. It's a hellscape. What, uh, what do you suggest? You- you look pretty competent. Oh. Okay, how exactly do you control a tentacle freak ship? Listen, lady. If I have to put a tentacle anywhere inside of my body to control this ship, it's not happening. Well, that thing could make a pretty pet. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, they want to kill us. That's not the greatest. Okie dokie. All right, so... Oh, this is a bonus action. Well, I may as well inspire Lazel with my epic flute skills. And then let me try dissing it. Oh, I want... Did you see that, girl? Miss Chance? I one-shot it. Uh, chance of survival, girl. It seems like we're doing pretty good. Please one-shot it, Lazel. Nice. Don't mind me. I'm just going to... Oh. It has a potion of speed, girl. A potion of fucking speed. I wonder... Can I speak to her right now? What would she say? Not now. We must go to the helm. Okay. Well, uh, it's, you know, it's hard for me not to ask questions because the silence between us is eerie. I don't exactly like it. Control over the ship. What do you wish to die here? You know, I don't wish to die anywhere, really. <laughs> Ew, this door is disgusting. Why does it open up like a bard girl's ass? Hello, dark mind. I'm going to collect you for later in the story. I believe it's in act two. Uh, another anus door. Disgusting. A oh, foul creature. Lace out, get it. I want to kill the. You know what? No. I've got better things to do than chase after some brain thing. How many hosts of these gay infected? You know, probably three. Maybe four. Maybe even five. Another mine for the collection. Chance girl, shoot it. We are going to kill this filthy creature. If it's the last thing we do. Now I'm going to run away so it hits you and not me. It hits you for four. I thought it would miss. Die, foul creature. I'm going to come in for the last hit like a hero. Ooh, and I crit it. Good job, me. You know, I was contemplating leaving Shadowheart. I've never done that. But it also feels like an evil character thing to do, right? But then I realized... I'm a bard. She's a pretty girl. There's no fucking way I would ever leave her here. There just, there just isn't. Get me out of this oh, no that's a pretty simple time. request. But why exactly? Um, I did find some sort of key, girl. Okay. Anything for a pretty face, I say. Hmm. Um, well, I suppose I will just slip this rune thing into here. Easy does it. Tight fit. What ex- You know what? I'm just gonna touch it. I don't want to know what it is. This thing's disgusting, but I suppose I have to- Ah! Ah, my head! Stop moving! Ah! That hurts! Authority? Ooh. I like this feeling. Open! I wish to see her face even closer. Oh my god, I rolled a two. <laughs> it's enough. It's enough. Holy shit. Yes. Open sesame. 
I'm not much of a mage, but I believe open sesame is the secret spell to open anything in the world. And... Oh, oh, don't fall on your face. You don't want to batter such a pretty visage. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. You know what? It looks like a coffin. Your mind ah, not again. Oh, you're not the biggest fan of my yellow friend here, are you? You keep dangerous company. You know, girl, dangerous company is kind of useful on a ship with a bunch of mind flare freakish things and brains running around that want to eat my balls. Do you really think I wouldn't keep dangerous company around? Exactly. There's plenty of fighting ahead. Probably, yeah. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along. Sure, anything for a pretty face. By the way, the name is Lemon. So, uh, get used to moaning my name, please. You're going to be doing a lot of that, I'm sure. Shadowheart. Ooh, Shadowheart. That's a lot of syllables, but I can make it work. What the fuck? Did you, did you just grab a Rubik's Cube? Was that what you were entertaining yourself with in there? What is that? Trust me. Okay. Well, as a bard, I know better than to prod into women's business. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just going to kill these men because I want to feel powerful. And for the 10 XP, but you probably don't know what XP is, do you? Uh, real quick, girl, do you like my flute? Do you feel inspired by it? Evidently enough, you do. I don't know what that- I don't know what cane yank means. What are you yanking and why is it my cane? That is one big horned fellow. Oh, he's... Oh, oh God. Well, that's one use for tentacles. Ah, oh, he's bloodied now. And then he's gonna die to some imps. What a pussy. The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. That I have. Gods, these things feel disgusting in my hands. What the fuck is that? Why is there a dragon here? Leave me alone, creature. Oh, gods. No, 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 no. Ah! That's hot. I can't believe none of that hit me, too. You whiffed. Oh, we're gone. Ah! What's going on? Ah! Ow. Uh, now I'm going this way? What the hell? Why? Uh, I don't want to hit another wall. Please. Please. The first time hurt enough. Come on. I must reach it. Uh, uh. I control where we're teleporting. Me. I am the man with power. I am the bard with power. I have power, I swear. I swear I have power. Power is me. Power am I. Well, there's a cute tiefling girl. And a goddamned sexy draw woman. I'll see you later, girl. Remember my name? It's Lemon. It's Lemon. Miss Drow? Why are you sending the goblins my way? What the hell? You know, now that I think about it, it's probably more pertinent for me to pay attention to the fact that we are falling through the air! Oh, hello. Hey, don't look at me, you tentacle-faced freak, you fuck- ah! Ah! Well? This is where old Lemon dies. I thought I would be able to make a cool bard song. Oh, huh, I must be dreaming. There's no way I could float on. Oh, that hurt. Okay, lesson learned, God. Stop complaining while I'm falling through the air. Oh, what a horrible dream. My fucking head hurts a lot. Why does my head hurt so much? Where the fuck am I? Oh my god, it wasn't a dream. It wasn't a fucking- Ah, stop! That hurt! Stop! 
It's my head. <sighs> well, where where am I? Chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. Good to know, Mister Miss. I was gonna say, Mister Narrator Lady. You know, I'm mincing my words today. I think it's because the tadpole is squirming in my brain, and I cannot think of lyrics. Ooh, a corpse. Five gold. Another corpse. Let me loot her as well. Oh, she's alive. I think. Are you breathing, ma'am? I would touch your chest to check, but I usually get consent before I do things like that. Hmm. That Rubik's Cube of hers looks interesting. Let me see. Anyone around? I just want to see what her progress on this Rubik's Cube is. I can only ever do two sides. Oh, uh, hello. I was not going to check your Rubik's Cube. What are you doing? You know, I just I just wanted to see if you were alive. I'm alive. Yes. yes. Oh, that's good. Thank you for the concern. It wasn't really... Well, okay, yeah, I was concerned, sure. Oh. How are we alive? You know. Perhaps it was some dramatically timed divine intervention. You know how the gods be. They're very fickle. Sometimes they decide to slap their dick around the world and make things happen. The divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. So, uh, I no? <laughs> Do you realize how many bar tales literally sing about gods doing random bullshit. I don't think they'd like to keep their intervention close to their chest. But whatever you say, Miss Clerica girl, um, what happened to our yellow friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. I don't think any of us are friends. I was just being nice. We should probably look for her. She looks far more capable in combat than either of us two sissies. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. Aren't you a healer, girl? We still have these I believe you cast cure wounds, wounds at least once on the ship, didn't you? Uh, do you have the slightest, most faint idea of where the fuck we are, girl? I have no clue. No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. You know, truth be told, you're not exactly wrong. I usually don't find myself surrounded by that many tentacles normally. Sometimes it's mostly two at the most. Uh, well, you know, from the way you're talking, I th I would I would venture to say I think you want us to stay together, don't you? We need each other. And we you know, know I didn't I've never been needed by anyone before. This is a strange feeling. Well, in that case, I'm going to move on and completely ignore the emotional conundrum you've just spiked in me. Let's go. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again. Thanks for a bod. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. You're not I wrong. I'll remember that. Well, if you're going to remember that I saved you from the pod, you should at least remember why I did it, girl. I said I never leave a pretty face unattended. That is why I simply had to get you out of that pad. Dead bodies. You know, usually I would be terrified of dead bodies, but considering that there is an illithid parasite squirming in my fucking skull, I no longer care about dead bodies. I have bigger things to worry about. Or I suppose, is it smaller things to worry about? The parasites are much smaller than corpses. I suppose I have smaller things to worry about than corpses at the moment. Oh, it's a book of sea shanties about the bitch queen. You know, Shadowheart, I was never the best at sea shanties, so I'm actually going to pick this book up for later, okay? I, I, I wanted to pick it up, not read it. Damn it. You know what? Let me talk to you real quick. Something the matter. There is something the matter. What, uh, uh, how did you come to start working on Rubik's Cubes? There's no story. None that you're you just to hear, you anyway. just picked up a Rubik's cube for no reason and decided to start trying to solve it. Is that really what you expect me to? Be? You expect me to believe you randomly picked up a fucking Rubik's cube? You know what? That that makes sense. Okay, I'm not gonna press the matter. A note. 
I don't feel like reading a note. The perfume on it stings my nose. Oh, it's more of those fucking brain things. Those wretched brain things. They are disgusting to look at, wouldn't you say, Miss Shadowheart? You know, I believe I killed one or two of those on the ship, if that impresses you. If it doesn't, completely ignore the fact that I said that. Uh, Miss Shadowheart, little elf, half elf girl. Listen, we're just not, we're not gonna fight those brains right now, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. I don't really want to fight things that look like brains. I'm a bard. I usually don't use my brain. I use my flute. Speaking of, Shadowheart, would you like to listen to my flute? I do a pretty good job at it, don't you say? Do you like it? Do you like my flute, girl? Why are you not responding to my flute? This usually makes me drown it, pussy. Okay, whatever. Different instruments for different folks. We're going to carefully avoid that rock for the time being, Miss Shadowheart. I'm not the fondest of the wizard that I somehow just happen to know is trapped in that rock. Zone. Actually, there's more women here than gentlemen. Hey, she's not that ugly. She just has a small nose. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't. Don't glare at me. I just woke up two minutes ago. Okay. Anything you say, mommy? I will kill them all for you. Hey, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Under elf is rather racist, don't you think? You know what? Please walk away. I really don't want to fight you at all. It's really the last thing I feel like doing is fighting you. I nat 20 Walk away or I will literally cut your balls off. Even the girls. Come, my missa. Now. That's right. Leave. Gawking. Get me down. Understood, ma'am. However. Seeing as you are a, I believe you are called what, a Gith Yankee or something like that? A uh, 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 Yankee Red Sox? I don't know. Listen, ma'am. Surely, please is in your dictionary. Never. Okay, well, shit. <laughs> I'll still get you down anyway, because you're probably a more capable fighter than both me and the half elf here, but. As you say. Okay. There we go. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the auspicious? That's quite the word. Consumes. Why is My auspicious in your vocab and, and thank you and please I isn't? A crash. You will join me. A crash. And, you know, okay, well, first off, I just freed you from a fucking cage. And you didn't even say th please. Perhaps you could say thank you. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. Really? Will as thanks. You know, I suppose that's true. Please don't cut my balls off. I treasure those quite a lot. What exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Get Yankee protocol is clear. That's a lot of when words. Gate, tadpole, we must report to Augusta for purification. You know, girl, you described a great many things in that explanation, and yet I am still left wanting. I have no idea what the fuck a crash is, and you did not help at all. I'm still lost. Anyway, uh, please follow me. I, you, you know, I, I don't think I can kill anyone without your blade by my side. You have made an ally from Crash Kalir. Crash Kalir. Is that like a tribe? Come, the horned ones mentioned a cat. One there, this Zoru, has seen Get Yankee. Ooh, the must be near. quite the name Zoru is. Zoru, where he has seen my kin. Interesting. Shadowheart, why did you have nothing to say there, and yet you disapproved? Both of you disapprove of my existence. This is unacceptable. All right, well, before we level up, we may as well go get that shitty wizard that I don't like, but I'm going to help him out anyway. Listen, ladies. I don't really like this wizard, man. He consumes all of my shit all the time. Why? Slightly dangerous. Slightly dangerous, the narrator lady says. Slightly dangerous. This thing looks like a bomb. I should walk away, but I'm going to touch it anyway, because I'm a bard. I'm not the smartest fellow. 
Ow. That hurt. Still, though. What the fuck? A hand came out of it. Anyone? Sure. Sure. You know, I'm not the greatest at strength, but apparently as a bard, despite the fact that I have devoted my entire life to the flute and sometimes the drum and on Thursdays the lute, I apparently am good enough at magic that I can attune myself to this sigil's magic and bid it to, to quiet down. Again, no idea how that makes any sense. I've been learning how to play instruments my whole life and talk to women. But, uh, you know, I'm going to do this, and it's apparently going to be easy. Wow. Get out of there, boy. One moment, please. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Yes, I learned how to do this when I learned how to play the flute. Actually, it might have been the drums that taught me this. All right, come out now, you floating arm. Come on, I want to see what your shoulder looks like. Oh my god, a whole man came with it. He does have quite the striking visage, though. Not as striking as mine, of course. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Of what? Don't Honest. touch me! Usually better at this. Did you really just shake my hand? Y usually better at what? At, at not wasting my fucking time. Apologies. I didn't exactly memorize my cephalopodian banishment spells last night. Wasn't the best prepared for an attack by squid. Well, you should. I thought wizards knew like thousands of spells and could use all of them at once. That's what bards sing of. You know, how- uh, fuck the nautiloid. I don't want to talk about tentacles at the moment. How the fuck did you get stuck in a motherfucking god's forsaken stone? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in free fall. That sounds familiar. Plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be Oh, you just you knew the glimmer was magical, huh? With a weaving of words and in the same way that when I see women I somehow know they are beautiful. How about you? How did you survive the fall? How did I survive the fall? That is a good question. I took control of the ship, inserted a tentacle somewhere. I will not say where I inserted it, but I inserted a tentacle somewhere. And my, my gracious fingers, very talented from learning three different instruments, I landed the ship safely and I saved the day. And that is why you see two beautiful women behind me, even if one of them has a small nose. That vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story. Contradicts my story, you say? Oh, and yet here I am with two women so from the ship. Swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate... I'm not a swashbuckler, boy. I'm a bard. Back on the ship, you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region, were you not? Hey, first off, Gale of Waterdeep. Men don't talk about other men's oracle, uh, oracle, shit, I can't even talk right, ocular insertions, okay? Men usually don't talk about their insertions with other men. It's kind of a private matter, but you know, since it's kind of on the nose and on topic for the moment, I, I don't believe I could have phrased that any more repellently myself, given, well, I was going to say given my vast vocabulary, but in truth, I know about 300 words at the most. No use sugarcoating it, is there? I only so know songs. Off this parasite? Are you aware uh, that it is a parasite. Excruciating gestation. It will turn us into mind flayers. Into mind flayers, you say? Ceramorphosis. And let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You Listen, to be a cleric Gail. A no, I'm not a cleric. I think so I've said the word bard about 50 an times already, and yet you asked me if I was a cleric. But I am unusually adroit, whatever the fuck that, that word is, is, with a needle, I believe. Most, no doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Listen, Shadowheart is quite a talented cleric, but I don't believe she could so- Oh, you're asking me. Why are you not asking the woman if she's a good enough cleric to do this, you dickhead? Well, whatever. Listen, I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites seems to be a little bit outside of my domain of skill, okay? My skill set is a little too limited 
to deal with a fucking alien parasite, Gale. Leave me alone, okay? Not everyone can simply extract a fucking illithid parasite, you dickhead. As we've established, few enough can. Exactly. It's not a common affliction, and yet here are four of us currently afflicted with it. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Really? Okay. Well, you know, normally I would say no. Because having more men around means more competition. But, uh, well, uh, I'm not the greatest in a fight. And I feel like you probably are better in a fight than I am. So please come with me. Parasite shared is a parasite halved. That's not true in the slightest. I still have a whole parasite and you have a whole parasite. Thank you. Ah, finally, some manners around here. Do you see that gith one behind me? I have a feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Sure. Do you see this gith girl over here? She couldn't even say thank you or please. She's the ill-mannered one around here. All right, well, now that we have four people in my party, I may as well initiate my level up. Do you like my flute, Gale? It is quite literally the only thing I have ever worked on in my entire life is this flute. Nothing else. Look, see, I can kill a Mind Flayer too. It just has to be half, I missed, I can't kill it. There we go. Death is too good for this disgusting creature, isn't it? Well said, me. Ooh. Well, isn't that a pretty elf boy? Hello. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. Really? You've got one of those walking brains cornered, huh? I don't see it. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? You saw me kill them, did you? Well, you know, you should probably kill it yourself. You look rather capable. And even if you weren't, I don't think you quite understand the depth of how incapable I am. So, uh, yeah, you should do it yourself, okay? Goodbye. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. This is an evil playthrough, boy. I'm not a kind- Ah! Hey, get off me! Hey, what is this? Why do you have a knife in my throat? What the fuck? Hey, leave me alone, boy! You better hope I fail this roll, you bitch! I will stab you in the throat! I'm not 20 and you're dying today, mister- I don't know your name yet. Move! You bitch! Leave me alone, I, I just want... You, you saw me! I was in that pot. Did you like the way I strut? And those do to me. Okay, well, first off... Don't act like I'm with those tentacled freaks, okay? I am a man of culture! Do you see me? Do you see this illustrious hair? This beautiful face? Do you really think I would be walking around with such unsightly creatures and calling them my allies? Foolish boy. Anyway, you have it backwards. They snatched me up too. I'm not an idiot. I so ah! Okay, my enough with this brain shit. This is starting to piss me off. It hurts every time. It hasn't gotten any less painful at all. The light, the fear. Hmm. What's going on? You know, I believe it's the worm they gave us. But honestly, I really don't know. Those tentacled monsters. You're not wrong. Whatever they did, whatever they put in us, just created a connection. Okay. They took you too. I so, Mr. Astarian, just why did you ask me? Ready to decorate the ground with your image. Can you pause? I'm about to ask you a question. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? You apologized. I don't have a question anymore. Whatever. Anyway, listen. Um, well, you know, apology accepted. Uh, mainly because I do believe... Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, uh, apology accepted. I completely forgot the, tri the tirade I was going to go on. Gale disapproves. My name's Astari. Ooh. I like the way you talk and look at me, elf man. Well, hello. I am Lemon. I am a bard. I don't know from where. 
mainly because I don't know enough about the Dungeons and Dragons world proper to just name drop a city and be like, oh ho, this is where I'm from. Sorry, I don't know the lore well enough, but I can tell you I have spent 17 plus years on the flute alone. My flute is magical, I must say. And uh, I spent another two years on the drums and about every Thursday for three years uh, on on uh, the loot. Yep, my, my. that's it. You've been busy. I haven't. I've been learning the flute <laughs> and the loot and the drums. These worms while wandering the ship. I did learn. Unfortunately, for both you and I as two very sexy men, I have learned that uh, they will turn our wonderful, beautiful faces into disgusting, tentacle-faced, freakish monsters. Turn us into... I believe they're called mind flayers or something. Is that a bite mark in your throat? What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. You're right. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. True. Well, I would like you to travel with me. Unfortunately, I currently have Gale the Bitch Wizard with me. So instead, you can, uh, g well, I'm going to say this because I don't want to just tell you to fuck off to my camp first. Tempting, but oh, it is tempting, is isn't it? Crowded right now. I'm sorry. I'd like to have my space. Well, uh, you can go make your space in my camp that I haven't gone to yet. You will be the first one in my camp. So I guess it's your camp and we're all going to be camping with you, but that's semantics aside. Go ahead. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. I knew you were a smart man, Astarian. I hate to turn down an invitation. Woohoo! All right. Well? Maybe I'll see you there. You know, Good if you time. won't turn down an invitation, maybe I will invite you to my bed. Really? Okay, well, apparently he ignored me. Uh, uh, Shadowheart, do you believe if I invited a starion into my bed, he would show up? Are you not going? Okay, well, she's not going to answer me. No one is. Everyone is rejecting me today. Why? 